What's up, ladies and gents? It's Train01, your host, and of course, welcome back to more Tacoma. Nice and easy walkthrough here. Let's play. Having lots of fun. And it looks like I am going to be completing the game. I'm just having too much of a good time to actually uh, stop now, and I actually want to see where the rest of the story can take me. So hopefully you guys will be along for this adventure. All right, what do you say, folks? Yay or nay? Obviously, we're on board. I'm in. Me too. Okay. All right. Well, we non-essential personnel need to figure out how to do everything we can to set this mission up for success, then get the hell out of your way as quickly as possible. Time is oxygen, people. Break. I keep oh. really kind of explaining what the oxygen situation and how bad it can actually end up being. Downstairs and get started on it. Oh my god. So now we actually have to build this thing. Yeah, that was the whole point. Hold on, I need to ask Evie something. Are you okay? Evie! Hey, Evie! Hey, um, I you were all like gung ho to help us out and everything, but I did the math. Uh, if we could get this done in like 48 hours, not 72. Could the rest of us wait longer to go in? Exactly. Listen, ladies, I get it. You're trying to do right by us, but every minute we wait to go in is a minute you don't have to get this thing flying. And knowing what we know about VT, we've got to give you every chance we can to succeed. So there's no way we can convince you? We made a plan. Now we just need to hold up our end of the bargain. Then I guess we should stop wasting time and get to work. It's gonna be good, Evie. You just wait. <laughs> Ride of your life. More ways than one. Okay, where do we start? Start? I got things started as soon as this all went down. I'll show you what I got lined up. To the workshops! Alright, so it looks like that's all it is for them. So let's go back over here and find out where they are. I didn't think things would end like this. Did you? What do you mean, end? Come on, Clive. What? You really think they can turn that thing into a passenger vehicle in two days? We might as well hold our breath and just try dog paddling over there. <laughs> but Listen, it's, it's okay. We know it's not safe working up here. We just don't think about it a lot, but here we are. And we knew it all along. But VT could- VT's not fucking coming, Clive! VT's not fucking coming. You think sending a crew up here at the drop of a hat just to check on things is worth it to them? Dollars and cents, Clive. You know what one of those fuckers said to me one time? If it doesn't make dollars, it doesn't make sense. Them sending a crew up in time, it just doesn't make sense. So you're just giving up then? No. We're doing what we said we'd do. Bert and Nat, they are our only shot and we have got to take it. But I can also be realistic that- Evie. I don't want to be realistic with you. Oh. Well, 
Well, time to go make final preparations then. <laughs> but not too finally. You know, I'm, wow. I'm, I'm picturing it. I'm going to pause right there. Just so I can take a look here real quick. Oh, I wish this was in VR. Beautiful, beautiful. They will be walking together. Like this. But the gravity, it won't be artificial. I mean, isn't it strange? We've... We've never felt the Earth's pull together. One day. One day. Oh, Evie. Do you think you could get everyone to medical? I, I want to make sure they've got the best shot at waking back up once they do go in. Uh, all right. How about this? Let's give folks a little time to regroup. But why don't Clive and I follow you over there right now and get ours done? No time like the present. Lead the way. All right. Hey, Evie, I... Hello? Lead the way. Okay, Evie, I... Hello? Alright, so we know that we gotta get to him. But we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait and do this one first. So I wanna kinda see... To the workshops. Where everyone is going... After they all do their little meetup. Non-essential personnel need to figure out how to do everything we can to set this mission up for success. Then get the hell out of your way as quickly as possible. Time is oxygen, people. Break. I'll um. Along with this. I'll head downstairs and get started on. Oh my something. god. Okay. So now we actually have to build. Hey, this. Andrew. Clive. Andrew. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Hey, are are you okay? Evie. Hey. Nope, I'm not. Okay. We don't know the password. Okay. Are, are you okay? Nope. Hold on. Nope, I'm not. You okay? Nope, I'm not. Zero two eight. Nope, I'm not. One. Nope, I'm not. All right. Okay. What do you want to talk about? I can't do it. Uh, I can't. I can't. I... This is all crazy. But you said you... I know. But I... What was I supposed to say? You all... You all pressured me. Andrew. <laughs> they really expect us to climb into some jury rigged thing and ride it through space? Just because VT might not come pick us up. It, it's insane. And first, we all have to get in cryo, just for the privilege... Well, th some of us do. Andrew, I... I don't know what to say. Bert and Nat need us. They need you. Well... I'm not doing it. I'm not getting in cryo. I'm not... I'm gonna be the same one here. You know, nobody even considered that VT might come pick us up in time if we just wait. Nobody even considered it. Listen, just don't talk to anybody else about this for now, okay? And and if I were to call the crew into medical, you'd show up, right? I guess it depends what it is. Okay. Just give me a little time. All right. So first off, I'm going to I guess it follow what her it is. because I think hers was first. Okay. Just give me a little time. <sighs> Odin, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Close your eyes. I did already. A light wind rustles the green tall grass. Your skirt billows gently. Warm sun caresses your back. 
Yes. You begin walking forward. The grass is cool. Okay, this game is really, really good. It's so calming, and it just... Oh, I am absolutely loving it. So, she's looking at that picture to kind of calm herself down. Your feet parted with each step. Do you see what is in front of you? As I step through the grass, I naturally come upon a path. Yes. The dirt of the so The dirt of the path is soft on the soles of my feet. I don't know what's I don't know what's going to happen to us, Odin. Sarah. <laughs> I am striding forward confidently upon my appointed path. Wherever it takes me is where I am meant to be. I am striding confidently on my appointed path. Sarah? Yes, Odin? Are you going to be all right? I think so. Oh, Evie. All right. Wow. I just the way that this sets itself up is contact and an investigative crew around. I don't know. Give me a little time. Hey, Odin. Yes, Andrew? What should I do? What do you mean? I don't know. I... I just want to go home. I understand. Do you? I believe that I do. Can you tell me the average time it's taken VT to send an evac crew to investigate situations like this? The average time between a remote facility losing ground contact and an investigative crew arriving on site is 98.4 hours. God damn it. Please try not to be worried, Andrew. <laughs> That's easy for you to say. You don't have lungs. So, what do you think we should do? Standard operating procedure requires all crew to engage cryogenic hibernation until help arrives. Yeah, you know, people die in cryo, right? I know. Sometimes. If, uh... <laughs> if we don't make it out of this... Can you deliver a message to my family? I will do everything in my power. Okay. I'll, uh... I'll send you something later, alright? Of course. Well, looks like this will work. Give us a few extra hours anyway. Thanks, Odin. Okay, Evie, I... Hello? Guess I'll catch up with you all later then. All right, we are moving right along. So it looks like we have to get in via over there. So let's head there. We've talked to pretty much everybody that we've needed to talk to. So really, you can complete this probably not too long. Depends on how long you actually go and look.
Well, was that like a passcode? No. Zero two eight one. What could that mean? Maybe that's his personal locker. Could be it. Zero two eight one. I'll try to remember that if I can. Check out the tea garden. Okay, we've been in there. I like that he's playing a video game. That's so looking for anything that could be considered the zero two eight one. Spitfire's Revenge. What is that? Okay, Odin. Ready? I'm gonna do it this time. Mm -hmm. So is she just... He's got to be able to see her, right? Not really sure what's going on there. Sure we're not going to find anything of, of use in the bathroom. Could be down here. What's this? Nope, just glasses. Alright, well let's keep going on. Again, I don't know if I'm going to pick everything up, but I'm going to try to be as thorough as I can. You guys know how I am. Okay. So, now it's time to go to medical. 50% done. Sarah, we'll see you over in Mech. As soon as everything's wrapped up here. All right. Good speed. Once more into the breach. Just so I can see what other one blue is next. So. Once more. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
so we will follow her. Oh, Odin, did I do the right thing? In what regard? Does Nat deserve to know what her odds are if she ends up going into cryo? I believe that you have made a decision with both Roberta and Natalie's best interests at heart. Above all, do no harm. If we do make it out of this thing, Nat's going to have to find out I didn't tell her everything at some point. I believe that is a bridge to be crossed at a later date. Andrew is here for his exam. Oh. Uh. Send him in. So you showed up for your exam? I did. So does that mean you've decided to... What's gonna happen to us, Sarah? What? Um... Well... Bert and Nat are going to fix up the drone with life support, and, and then we're... No. I mean... What if things don't work out? And we're still stuck in cryo? Oh. Well, when you go into stabilizing sleep, it feels just like any other sleep, really. The body effectively goes into a controlled hypothermic coma. Do you dream? Sometimes. Sometimes very intense dreams. And then what? After a certain amount of time, your body slows down too much, things start shutting down. It slows down too much, things start shutting down, you just don't wake back up. It, uh, it doesn't hurt. No. <sighs> do you think Bert and Nat can get it done? I do. Then I'll just have to trust your professional opinion and do my part. It's been good working with you, Doc. I'm ready for my exam. There was some type of noise that just happened. It's been good working with you, Doc. I'm ready for my exam. Did you hear that? So we're gonna run into something. around a little bit more while before we proceed. Uh okay. She's a freaky deaky doctor holding a skeleton in her closet. Nothing to see here, right? Okay, so it looks like <laughs> Alright, I, I can definitely tell what that looks like. There's a key of some sort. I don't know if we're going to find this key, but... So right now we are... Let's just... There's the exit, so let's go back. Alright, good speed. Once more into the bridge. What? I don't know, I... I'm just thinking about how Evie and Clive are already in deep freeze. Did you read the message they sent? Yeah. Why are we going into the supply closet? I got to talk to them a little bit right before Sarah took them down to cryo, and Evie was being so encouraging. They're putting all their faith in us, but... ...in us, but... But what? Right before they turned to go, just for a second, he looks so worried. Oh, baby. The clock is ticking, and I just keep thinking, what if the last time they saw each other is the last time they'll ever see each other? Don't think about that. How can I? How can you not think about it? So, you know the concept of partitioning from early century computing? Yeah, I think so. So, you have a data drive. Maybe one partition was your operating system, and the other one was like general data storage. And maybe you'd partition part of the drive off to contain something that might be unstable, that you otherwise kind of, you know, wanted not to interfere with anything else. There are certain things that are gonna help us get this done, but some things, they need to be partitioned off. Because thinking about them isn't gonna help us. But... You're thinking about 
us, at least, aren't you? Yeah. And when I do let myself start thinking about how there's a possibility this is the last of our time together, too. Matt? Then I start thinking we should really make the most of it. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cute. Oh, that is tremendously cute. Wow. All right, so we're searching for a key. I don't know if I'm going to find it again. Um, we've got to find Mr. Green Guy. Okay, Sarah. We'll see you over in Mech. As soon as everything's wrapped up here. All right. Let's face He's going to be coming in through this door and not too Once long. Once more from into now. the. I got to wait here. I'm ready there for he is. <laughs> Okay. Odin is Sarah ready? All right, so ready for me? I will tell her that you are here. You showed up for your exam. There we go. I did. All right. So does it mean into the future, not backward into the past? While we are proud of our heritage, luxury facilities, <laughs> future. Waiting to see when it plays. Adventurous, we look boldly into the future, not backward into the past. While we are proud of our heritage luxury facilities, like the Zenith Lunar Resort, the popular perception of orbital travel as playground of the super wealthy is outmoded, outdated. It's holding us back. The future of Venturus is inclusivity. And that inclusivity is defined by the Venturus Belt Project, a network of 1,000 fully automated private vacation homes encircling Earth, available to the public at prices a mere fraction of any orbital travel on offer to... All right, so let's check out the personal quarters of the medic, see if we can find this key. So I am, I'm at a loss for where this key would be. Hey, 
Take care of that plant. Well, it doesn't seem like it's over in this area. I don't see it on her. You would think it would have been in that room there, so it's got to be in... It's not going to be in there. That would be too easy. It's got to be in the medic office somewhere. We really weren't searching for a key when we were in here before. Aha. Aha. <laughs> Aha. Can you guys guess what movie that's from? I'll give you a hint. It was a 1980s movie. Where is it? It should be in medical storage. What are we going to find in here? Papers? Nasal spray. Like I said, it, it seems to me that you're not going to find like any big, big things in these places. But I think that's going to be it. I think we got everything we're going to get. Went to the personal quarters. That's so beautiful. And it looks like we're done. All right, guys, so thank you for joining me again on this journey through Tacoma. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. It looks like we are going to be heading to the next location, which, from what this says, proceed immediately to engineering. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Next up, we'll be heading over to engineering to continue our story. Thanks for watching, everybody. And, of course, I will see you on the next video. Peace out.